wonderful time, wonderful time to be here this morning. All right, wonderful time to be right here this morning on your radio. And we say welcome. This is the Morning Mix presentation. And we are live right here on Radio Joy Africa and also live on Radio Joy Africa TV. So, like I said, I doing our itinerary. Our guest at this hour is the chief executive officer of a real estate company that is named LRB Homes Incorporated. Mr. M. George Kandaka is our guest this morning on the radio. Mr. Kanaka is wonderful. Welcome. This is Radio Joy Africa. Hello. You have to. You have to. A uh, mood. I'm not. I'm not getting you. I don't know what is. Why is the call? Uh, why is the cause? Uh, I'm not really getting you. No, you are not. You are not. You are not coming in. Hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. um, I'm getting. Okay, that's good now. Now I can hear you. All right, great. Yeah, my son, I'm getting you. So, uh, how are you, are you doing? How was the night? Not bad, not bad, man. I really appreciate you getting me on here. Mm, so, that's great. All right, though I try to do your introduction, but there are many people who want to know uh, who is Mr. Kandaka. So just tell us uh, a bit about yourself. Who is Mr. George Kanaka? Well, listen, uh, my, my real name is Momo Banya Kanaka. And okay. uh, that, yeah, that George came about because when I got to the US, people could not pronounce Banya. So the guys said, okay, well, they made it easy and say George. And so I got stuck with George. But my real name is Momo Banya Kanaka. I was born in Kanagata near Batala in Bon County. And I did my uh, elementary school in uh, Batala and my uh, uh, junior high in uh, Swakoko. And then I went to San Nicolas Central High, right, did my high school. After that, came back to Morovia. And I went to Nigeria for two years to learn uh, surveying. I came back, worked for the for the first development authority, FDA, for three years, and I came to the US. And I've been living here since then. I got a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I did IT work for a number of years. I left and I went to the solar business uh, in Liberia. The company was called Solar Freak, but the company didn't do too well. And I said, you know what, let me find something different. And then eventually I went into the real estate business. And that's what I've been doing now for the last three years. This, hmm. That's why LIB Homes was started. So that's great. All right. So tell us about this, your real estate company in Liberia. Tell us more about it. Well, the company actually, let, let me quick story. This story actually started, I was having lunch at Royal Hotel, and uh, I saw a lady, the waitress, approaching me, and she had a sad face, and I... When she, when she got to me, I said to her, are you okay? She said, oh yes, I'm okay. But then she, was, she just she forced herself to smile and passed by me. And then she came back later, bent down and said to me in a typical Liberian English, she said, I have trouble. I said, wow. I said, what happened? And she said, I just buried my husband two weeks ago. I said, wow. So at this point, I'm thinking it was a car accident. So I said, auto accident? He said, oh, no, 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 it was not a car accident. His brother, from the same mother and same father, killed him in a land dispute. I said, wow. Anyway, I expressed my sorrow to the lady. And then that very night, I was home thinking about this. I said, wait a minute. I'm, I do real estate in, in the US. Maybe there's something that I can do. And I started thinking about it, and that's how real estate uh, or LIB Homes got started. Mm. So I uh, that that is a very great thing, and I must I must appreciate you for that. So I uh, let's talk about your customer. How do you how do customers in Liberia in, in the diaspora uh, go about buying some of uh, the homes? 
to uh, the real estate. Yes. Uh, the first step is to go to our, our website. The website is libhomes.com. That's the first place to start. It has lists of homes and land that you can choose from. And then uh, you call, there's a phone number on our contact page. You call that number. And then someone in the office will take your call and they'll start the process from there. And, and we'll walk you through the steps. How's the, I mean, not legally process uh, purchase land, uh, real estate properties in Liberia. We'll make sure that you do the, the, the best way to do it because on our website, there's a step-by-step -step guide how to purchase properties in Liberia because there are so many land disputes going on in Liberia. We want you to have the best advice when you go through this process so that you don't have a problem down the road. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that's great. Now, Liberians in the diaspora complain a lot about sending money to their family members in Liberia because the money is usually, uh, at times the money is not usually used for the intended purpose. What advice do you have to give to customers uh, in the diaspora on this issue? Yeah, the first thing I tell them is that, as a listen, I live in the U.S. and I live in Liberia. So I know exactly what you guys are going because I experience the same thing. I send money back home to my family to do something and they don't do it. The money just disappeared. So I know exactly what the issue is. I've had it so many times. So the first thing I tell people, listen, if you really want to buy a property in Liberia or let's say a home or land, first thing I would advise you to do is open up a bank account in Liberia. Open up a bank account in Liberia. That way you don't have to send money directly to anyone. You can just wire that money directly to the bank. And then the good thing about the bank is that anytime you can set up a, uh, a process so that anytime there's a deposit, a deposit made in your account, you can automatically notify that there's an activity on your account. You get a notification sent to you to an email. So it's always good to have that notification sent to your email automatically. You don't have to do anything. So the, the, someone withdraw a money from your account, you get notified right away. Uh, the, the deposit money, you get notified right away. So the best way that I advise people is open the bank account, and that's the best way. So you avoid all these issues with dealing with your family members or dealing with people. And then you, all can, you, can, you can also call our office, because since we have gone through the process, we know how to help you. We'll walk you through the steps and then guide you so that you don't waste your money send it to people and they just disappear. But we just guide you through the process because we, we, we experience the same issues. So that's why one of the reasons why we open a company so that we can guide people in the diaspora because we live in the diaspora as well. And that's how we do it. That's great. Now, how, how easy is it or how difficult is it doing business in Liberia for you? You, ha you have been here for the last 30 years now in Liberia to business. Let's see, uh, like, Liberia is like anywhere in Africa, okay? There's, you, people complain about bad infrastructure. Yes, the infrastructures are, are not that great. But guess what? The Lebanese are doing very well in Liberia. You go to Ivory Coast, the Lebanese are doing very well. You go to other countries in Africa, foreigners are doing very well. They, they are not complaining about oh, I'm not going to do it because the, the infrastructure is bad or the, this, this is bad. No, the, people are doing businesses. Look at, you go to Moravia right now, there are big, big hotels being built. Royal Hotel. I mean, you can name, I can go down the list. There's so many hotels. These people are not complaining about infrastructure. They, they just develop it. So I tell Liberians, I let say, yes, it's not a perfect place, but come on and do business, okay? But Liberia has its own issues but it's still open for business. That's why I tell everybody, I say, it's not a bad place, come down and do business if you are Liberian. Mm. So uh, so that, that is very great. Now, uh, what, what distinguish the Airbnb homes incorporated from other real estate companies in Liberia? Yeah, the one thing that make us, that set us apart is this. We are the only real estate company you find in Liberia that attach transparency to everything we do. Everything we do is transparent. Everything we mm -hmm. do is we, we deal with transparency. 
because some of us live in the diaspora and we have been going through so many issues, sending money back home and there's no transparency, the money disappeared. So our number one goal is transparency with the company. And the other thing we try to do that make us very unique is this. We have billboards around Moravia. There's one on Old Road Junction. There's one on Catholic Junction. There's, on, I think, one or two on uh, Airport Road. And we're going to expand on Kakata, Broadville, Gunnersville, and all those areas as well. And, and, and I think you guys have gone to Boston. Right to Boston. Right. Oh, you saw that. You saw that one. You saw that. I'm glad you saw that. Very good. So eventually, our goal is to expand in the entire Moravia area and the surrounding area. Then from there, then we'll take it to other counties. But it's a, it's a fairly uh, new company. But sooner or later, we're going to be the number one company in, in, in Moravia or in Liberia. Mm. So that's great. Now, there are other people within the diaspora who want to uh, invest in their country. Now, I, I know you guys still uh, have lands, you guys have homes for sale. Why in case somebody want to like charge you and build their house? They give you the house places, the house I want you to build. Is the LRB homes incorporated also in the business of building homes for people? Let's talk about that. Yeah, that's a very good question. Yes, what we do. We are, not, we are not developers. We don't build homes as a company. But what we do, we work with uh, developers, construction companies, companies that develop homes. We work hand in hand with them. They bring business to us and we bring business to them. So for example, if our customers call and they want to, uh, a house built, say, somewhere in, in uh, Broadville, for example, what we do, we, 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 get, we send a list of maybe two or three or four companies that we work with to the customer. We say, these are four companies we recommend. You pick the one that you, you, you like. And then that customer will call the four companies based on the conversation, that customer will pick one. Once they pick that one company, we then work with that one company and go through the whole process to make sure that they will go from foundation all the way to roof level. We work with the person advising them. Like we will be the, the eyes and ears for the person in Liberia. That's how we work. Again, okay. there's no money, there's no money sent to us. As I said in the beginning, all the money goes to a bank account, and from there is safely distributed to the developers, everyone who's involved. Mm. So that's great. Now, I want to know if you have uh, the farm power to change uh, just one thing to improve Liberia business in escape. What could be that thing? The, to me, to me I, I would say there are two things. And that thing is, one is, we are too, we are too laid back in Liberia. I say, we, in Liberia, we're too laid back. For example, you, 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 you tell Liberians about business, they don't seem they don't seem to have the passion for it. When the like, best look like, people come from other countries, look at the full the full needs in, in like in, in Moravia. These people work very hard, open businesses, but we Liberians, for some reason, we we open a business, but we don't have the passion, we don't have the, the guts, we don't we, we don't have the, the, the intensity to make to make that money, save that money, and and like the, the other people do. And that's one thing. The other thing I found about we Liberians is that I, if I had the power to change is we, we, we don't respect time. In other countries, time is money. Time, if you and I had an appointment, say we're going to meet at 12 o'clock and you come even five minutes late or even 10 minutes late, people look that people think that you are not professional. You are not, you are not dependable. You are not a reliable person. You are not serious. And when you start talking about let's co uh, let's collaborate, they say, "Hum, well, I don't think I'm going to collaborate with you because you don't have you don't have that you, you don't have the mentality of being on time." So time is very, very, very important in other countries. But in Liberia, we don't give a damn about time. I tell you a quick story. If you know, there was a. Uh, uh, Kofi Anna was there years ago. He was the Secretary General of the United Nations. His wife was a Swedish lady, a white lady, a Swedish. 
the lady was on television complaining about Kofi Annan, but she from he's from Ghana. She was on television complaining that Kofi Annan doesn't respect time. That's true. We Africans don't respect time. But other countries make a big deal about time. And I respect time. That's one thing. There are two things I would change. Time and being and being serious, being have passion for doing business. Those two things. Okay. Now let's let's talk about uh, the, the Liberia business center. Are there other competitors to the Airb homes? All right, let's talk about that. Yeah, we have competitors in Liberia, but really, uh Jockey, if you to, to to compare us with our competitors, it's like comparing a Mercedes Benz to a Keke. We, we you, know, <laughs> you know, we 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 there's no comparison. Okay, there's no comparison because our operation is strictly BMW or Mercedes Benz operation. They're not, they're, our competitors are doing motorbike. They're doing uh, Keke. That's not the business we do. We don't. In that, we are not in that kind of business. Okay, because we are we are structured professional with all about transparency and helping people in the diaspora as well as people in the Liberia in Liberia. Mm. So I, uh, you 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 are uh, a, a very decent man. What motivates you to 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 start doing business in Liberia? What motivate? Let's talk about motivation. The, the, the number one thing is this. You know, I'm, I'm older than you. I will tell you this. In Liberia, no one is going to develop Liberia but Liberians. We Liberians are the only ones who are going to develop Liberia. You can be it in the U.S., Great Britain, Europe, uh, Singapore, Australia. If you don't come and develop Liberia, foreigners will come and, and do it and start making money. And then you, when, by the time you come, it will be too late. If Liberia is going to be developed, it's going to be Liberians who will do it. We have to get down there and each and every one of us and develop Liberia because nobody else is going to do it. Nobody is going to do it. We have to do it. And this is what motivates me a lot to be part of this program because I know it can be done. Okay? If other countries can do it, we can do it. If you go to <laughs> Botswana and you see, uh, you go to Rwanda, you go to South Africa, you see these countries. East Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, the countries are rapidly developed. Even Ghana, not too far from us. Look at Ivory Coast. We have to do, we have to wake up and do something. We have to. Okay? That's what it is. Mm. So so that's great. Now, uh, Liberia, especially the young people in this country, uh, many of us are more focused uh, into politics. And we believe that the only area we can work or we can survive. Is in government forgetting about the private or business sector. Now, what what message or what advice do you have for a young Liberians in Liberia, also in the diaspora, when it comes to investing in their home, in their home in Liberia? Question. Yes, that's yes, yes. What I, I, I always tell young people, I said, listen, I, I always say that land is money. I repeat that land is money. We have so much land in Liberia, but we don't use it. There's no farm going on. Why is it that you are a young man, strong, you got to, you go to college, you learn, you got a bachelor's degree in, in agriculture, and you got a mm. job in Moravia sitting in the office. I mean, it doesn't make sense. You get a bachelor's degree in agriculture. You're supposed to be out there plenty, but instead you sit down in an office in Moravia. It doesn't make sense. I got a job with a company. Go out there, make uh, grow, uh, have chicken farm, goats, potatoes, cassava, rice. Do anything. Play, just you. You see, I tell you something. One of the richest men in the U.S. is a potato farmer. That's all he does: potatoes, nothing else but potatoes. Here's another one. You remember Jimmy Carter was the president of the United States for uh, uh, several years ago. You know how he became rich? He became rich by plenty of peanuts. Just peanuts, nothing else but peanuts. So we in Liberia, we get a bachelor's degree in agriculture, and then we go and get to sit in, in an office in Moravia. And I said, wait a minute. You're just wasting your time. Go on, go, the land is available to you. Go to the land and plant and make a, open up a farm. 
do something with your hands and become rich. Okay, that's what I mean. And and if you if you start, if you you say to yourself, okay, I can't do this by myself. Maybe you can do a little a little partnership. Two or three or four of your of your buddies, you get together, sit down and, and make a, an agreement and go and open up a farm. But it, it, it can be done. It can be done. That's how I want to tell young people it can be done. Great. Now I I that, that, that's that's just a zoom. I I have my home, I, I built my home, but now I want to I I don't sell it, but I want to like I don't use your your, your institution, that is the ARB Homes, uh, what is the process like? Someone listening, they want to know. Could you mind educating us as to how people can get connected to you when it comes to their land, they want to sell, when it comes to their home they have, and they want to get make business of you? Yes. The first thing I advise you to do is call our office, LIB office, on Kerry Street, 57 Kerry Street. We are right behind the finance building that's where we are right in the right there you can't miss it or just call it the phone number on on our uh, on our website you go to our website you see on our contact page you see three numbers the two numbers are for liberia and the the third number the whatsapp number is for outside of liberia that's out the office in in the u.s we have two offices. One office is in Liberia, and the second office is here in New York. And that's how the, the New York the New York office handles people, mostly people in the diaspora. And then the the, the Moravia office handles most of the people in Liberia. And if I get we get calls in here, I, I transfer it to Liberia. If they get calls in Liberia, transfer it to me. That's how we work hand in hand. But that the first thing to do is just contact us. When you contact us and you have a property for sale, what we do, we come to you and look at it. We want to make sure first that the, you own that property. Okay, you make sure the deed is in your name. You, we ask you for the deed and we ask you to show a, 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 an ID card. And the name on the ID card must be on the same name on the deed. They will give us confidence that at least that you own the property. Once we settle that, then we take a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures of your property, and we upload it on our website. Based on the price that we all agreed on, you will tell us how much you want to sell your house for. If it's too low or if it's too high, we advise you what to sell it for. We appraise it, tell you how much it should be. And then once we agree on the price, we upload it on our website and advertise to the people in Liberia and in the diaspora. That's how we go. Mm, so great. Now uh, let's talk about uh, how reasonable uh, those homes, the lines you uh, you 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 have registered on the website. How reasonable is it when it comes to prices? The, the prices are not bad. I have to admit, the prices are not bad. And if you go, we have we have um besides our uh, our website, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Instagram. And as also a YouTube channel, we everywhere, and then you you can see, for example, uh, uh, we sell right now. We have a property in Pinsville, of entire compound, huge mm. compound, and it's for uh, two hundred thousand dollars for sale. When I say that one of the best deals you can get in Liberia, that's it, right there, right in Pinsville, not too far from uh, not too far from ERWA Junction, and uh, great location. So if someone wants that property, for example, what we do, we negotiate with the person because we, the, we know, we, the buyers, we are the agent for the owner of the property. So the, the property is going for $200,000. So we, you come and say you want to pay, say you want to pay one, 190, for example, you want to pay 190 for the property. We then negotiate with you as the middleman. We'll talk to the owner and then we'll be talking to you at the same time and then making sure that both of you are on the same page and get a good price that you want. But yes, all our properties, all our properties on our website are negotiable. It just matter of you giving us a call and then we start the process. Okay. Uh 
experience, especially I uh, involved into uh, real estate sale in Liberia. So I, I don't know what what is happening. Uh, I hope he will join us soon so that we can continue on with what we are talking what we are talking about on this radio all right this this morning right on so jokia thanks for having me man